is the latissimus dorsi muscle length test. So think about proximal to distal insertion or inferior to superior insertion of that muscle. We're gonna start by elongating the lats at its more inferior attachment through the thoracolumbar fascia, pelvis, uh, sacrum. So by flexing the knees, puts the pelvis in more of a posterior pelvic tilt. So I'm gonna have you put your back flat into the table. So we're elongating the lats there. Uh, the lats also cross the scapulothoracic joint. So unlike our shoulder passive range of motion measurements, we're gonna allow the scapula to move freely. The lat is a shoulder internal rotator. So we will maximally externally rotate the shoulder. And then we're gonna bring the shoulder into flexion. We're gonna spring against the barrier. This is a muscle length test, so we should get a springy muscular end feel. When we've established that barrier, then we can take our measurement. So our reference or proximal arm is going to be parallel with the lateral midline of the trunk. And our indicator or distal arm is parallel with the midline of the arm or the humerus.